Hello friends, in this lecture we shall discuss value at risk. In short we call it VAR. Value at risk is a statistical tool and this tool is used to predict worst case loss in the value of an investment. All investment in shares securities they carry risk because of market conditions. Value at risk is a statistical tool which predicts what could be maximum loss the worst case loss in the value of an investment. Value at risk is calculated at a given confidence level and this calculation can be made over a time horizon. Say value at risk in one week, value of risk in one month, value at risk in six months and so on. And this can be calculated at a specific confidence level. Another important thing, it is calculated by assuming normal trading conditions. So value at risk is about market risk. It is a statistical tool and it can predict the maximum possible loss in the value of an investment. Value at risk is used as a tool to allocate capital for market risk under Basel 3. Under Basel 3 prescription, banks are supposed to keep capital for market risk and value of value at risk is used to determine the risk and allocate capital for market risk. How it is interpreted? Let us see this example. One day value at risk is rupees 2 lakh with 99% confidence level. What does it mean? It means that there is one chance out of 100 that daily loss will be more than rupees 2 lakh in normal trading conditions. This means out of 100 chances, in 99 cases, there is possibility that daily loss will not increase rupees 2 lakh. But there is one chance when this daily loss can increase rupees 2 lakh. So that is how value at risk is interpreted. How do we calculate value at risk? There are various models to calculate value at risk. So these models are correlation method, historical simulation method, Monte Carlo simulation method. In this lecture we shall use make use of the correlation method to calculate value at risk. Let us see this example. In the previous 45 days trading, daily volatility is 1.25% for an investment of rupees 5 lakh in the shares of ABC. At 98% confidence level, calculate value at risk for a period of one month. And we are to assume 25 trading days in a month. So this is the information given to us. Some observation was made over 45 days trading and on the basis of that the daily volatility is 1.25 percent. Amount of investment is rupees 5 lakh. At 98 percent confidence level we are to calculate the value at risk for one month time horizon. Let us now proceed with the solution. As I said, 
we are going to make use of correlation method here. Per day standard deviation of change in the market price. So this is daily volatility that means per day standard deviation. For rupees 5 lakh amount wise deviation will be rupees 6250. 1.25% of 5 lakh it comes to 6250. On the basis of per day standard deviation, now we shall calculate the per day devi the deviation standard deviation over 25 days period. So 25 days standard deviation. Now to calculate deviation over the time horizon, this formula will be used. So daily volatility multiplied by under root of the time horizon. Time horizon here is given 25 days. Daily volatility is 1.25 multiplied by the value of investment. Under root of 25 is 5 multiplied by 1.2625 so it comes 6.25 multiplied by amount of investment. So this is the amount of standard deviation for 25 days. 31,250. Let us understand the formula to calculate this again. So daily volatility multiplied by under root of the time horizon. Here we have 25 days in the month. Similarly, we can calculate it for any time horizon. Then multiply it by amount of investment. So that will calculate the volatility standard deviation for that period. Then we shall find out the Z value from Z tables. Here the confidence level is 98%. The Z value at 98% is 2.06. So this value we are taking from Z value tables. Now we can calculate the value at risk. So value at risk is equal to the standard deviation for the given time horizon multiplied by the Z value factor. So this is Z value factor this is the amount of value at risk. So out of an investment of rupees 5 lakh over a time period of 25 days the loss can be 64,375 rupees. So this is value at risk. As I said earlier this value at risk can be calculated for different time horizon at different confidence levels. So when confidence level change then we have to find the value of Z. Similarly when time horizon changes then we have to calculate the standard deviation for that particular time horizon. So this way we can calculate the value at risk. Well friends thank you very much for watching this video. I am sure you will be benefited by the contents of the video. Thank you once again.